I and D here, day six for this point of Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Where is Teferi? Where he is? We know that Teferi is on Innistrad as he's part of the story helping Arlen, but we haven't seen his Planeswalker cards. Let's find out if today its card was spoiled. Let's start with Brief Respite. It's not Teferi, but it's a card depicting Teferi. Two and one white, turn enchantment, enters the battlefield, exile target, non land permanent and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. Ritual of Hope for one and one white, it's an instant creature's control, get plus one plus one until end of turn, and has Coven. If you control three or more creatures with different powers, creatures you control get plus two plus one until end of turn instead. Sunset Celebration for one and one white, it's a sorcery. If an opponent has more life than you, you gain four life. If an opponent controls more creatures than you, create two one one white human creature tokens. If an opponent has more cards in hand than you draw a card. Finally, a draw spell for white. Necrosynthesis for one and one black. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature has whenever another creature dies, put plus one plus one counter on this creature. When enchanted creature dies, look at the top X card of your library where X is its power, put one of those cards into your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library. Grizzly Gaul for two, one black and one green, it's a 4-3. Trample enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter for each creature that died this turn. Root one creeper, one green and one blue, it's a 2 Tap at one mana of any color. Tap at two mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast spells from your graveyard. One green and one blue. Tap. Exile it. Return target card with flashback you own in exile to your hand. Hungry for more, one black and one red. Create a 3-1 black and red vampire creature token with trample, lifelink and haste. Sacrifice it at the end of next end step. Flashback for one, one black and one red. Ambitious farmhand for one and one white. This is the first double face card. It's a 1-1 one, one human peasant. Enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic pain card, put it into your hand. Coffin for one and two white. Transform it. Activate only if you control three or more creatures with different powers and transform into Consummate Qatar, etc. Three with lifelink. Sacred Fire, one red and one white, it's an instant, it deals two damage to any target and you gain two life flashback for four, one red and one white. Basically, it's a lighting helix with flashback. Mystic Skull for two, one tap, add one man of any color, five tap, transform it, and then transform into Mystic Monstrosity. A five, six, lens you control, have tap, add one mana of any color. Rare cards, Bright Bridge Tracker, 2 and 1 green, it's a 2-3 with Vigilance, enters the battlefield, investigate, as long as you control a token, it gets plus 2, plus 0, therefore this enters the battlefield, you will create a clue artifact token, it gets plus 2, plus 0, so it's a 4-3, unless you sacrifice that token to draw a card, or you have more tokens. Grafted Identity 2 and 2 blue, it's an enchantment aura, as an additional cost to cast the spell, sacrifice a creature, enchant creature, you control enchanted creature, enchanted creature get plus 1, plus 1. All six fingers, X, one black and one green. When you cast the spell, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal X creature cards. Put all creature cards revealed this way into your graveyard and the rest on the bottom of your library. Its power and toughness are equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Dice Rain Rain page 1, one red and one green. Destroy target artifact, enchantment or land. If a land was destroyed this way, its controller may search the library for up to two basic lands, put them on the battlefield depth. Otherwise, its controller may search the library for a basic land, put it on the battlefield depth. Flashback for three, one red and one green. Therefore, this is the answer for that book and faceless having combo. Adeline Resplendent Qatar for one and two white. Asterix for Vigilance, its power is equal to the number of creatures you control. Whenever you attack, for each opponent create a 1-1 white human creature token tapped and attacking that player or a planeswalker they control. Wipe out the horde 6 and 2 white, it's a sorcery. The spell costs 1 less to cast for each creature on the battlefield. On the battlefield, all creatures, not you, you control, destroy all creatures. Siphon Insight for one black and one blue, it's an instant, look at the top two cards of target opponent's library, exile one of them face down and put the other on the bottom of their library. You may look and play the exile card as long as it remains exile, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color. Flashback for one, one black and one blue. Mask of Grizzlebrand for one and two black, it's an equipment, equip creature has flying and lifelink, whenever equip creature dies you may pay x life where x is its power, if you do draw x cards, equip for three. Willow guys for one green, it's a one one with trample, whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard put plus one plus one counter on it, when it dies you gain life equal to its power. Curse of Surveillance four and one blue, enchant player, at the beginning of enchanted players upkeep any number of target players other than that players each draw card equal to the number of curses attached to that player. Sun Gold Sentinel for one and one white it's a 3-2, enters the battlefield or attacks exile up to one target card from a graveyard, Coven for one and one white choose a color, it gains hexproof from that color until end of turn and can be blocked by creatures of that color this turn, activate only if you control three or more creatures with different power. 
We have seen the rare cards, now it's the turn of mythic cards. Moonway Regent, 3 and 1 red, it's a 4-4 with flying. When you cast the spell, you may discard your hand if you do draw a card for each of that spell's color. When it dies, it deals X damage to any target where X is the number of cards among permits you control. Spectral Adversary, for 1 and 1 blue, it's a 2-1 with flash and flying. And as the battlefield, you may pay 1 and 1 blue any number of times. When you pay that cost 1 or more times, put that many plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. And up that many other artifact creatures or enchantments phase out. Let's stop and discuss this card. It has flash, which means it can be casted at instant speed, which is not bad, but you can pump it up. Therefore, you can pay 1 and 1 blue for a 2-1 with flying. You can pay 2 and 2 blue for a 3-2 with flying and then you can face out an artifact, a creature or an enchantment. You can pay 3 and 3 blue, you will get a 4-3 and you will face out 2 artifact, creatures or enchantment and so on and so on. I think this is quite a good card. Bloodthirsty Adversary, another adversary card. For 1 and 1 red, it's a 2-2 two -two with haste. Enters the battlefield, you may pay 2 and 1 red any number of times. You may pay this cost 1 or more times, put that many plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, then exile up to that many target instant sorcery cards with mana value 3 or less from your graveyard and copy them. You may cast any number of the copies without paying its mana cost. Hostile Hostel, it's a land, tap to add one card less, one, tap, sacrifice a creature, put a soul counter on it, then if there are three or more soul counters on it, remove those counters, transform it, then untap it, activate only as a sorcery. When it's transformed, it becomes creeping in, it's a 3-7, whenever it attacks, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard, if you do, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of creature cards exiled with creeping in, 4, creeping in, phases out. Let me end this video with a return, a reprint, a reprint straight from the first Innistrad block, Delver of Secrets. Delver of Secrets will be reprinted in Innistrad Midnight Hunt with a new spooky artwork. Let's see if this card will make it in standard. Also, there could have been a return, that could have been a very interesting reprint, Snapcaster Mage, but this is a fake. So these were all the cards that have been spoiled today, day 6 for the spoiler of Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Tune in tomorrow for more spoilers of Innistrad Midnight Hunt and anything related to Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.